In the early 17th century, the first enslaved Africans were brought to the British colony of Jamestown in Virginia. This marked the beginning of a system of forced labor that would shape the economy and culture of the southern United States for centuries to come. Over the next few decades, more Africans were brought to the colonies to work on plantations and in other industries, and the slave trade grew into a massive global enterprise. By the mid-19th century, the United States was deeply divided over the issue of slavery. In 1857, the Drade Scott decision by the Supreme Court ruled that African Americans could not be considered citizens and had no legal rights. This decision further inflamed tensions between North and South and set the stage for the Civil War. The war began in 1861 and lasted for four years, with the Union ultimately emerging victorious in 1865. The Emancipation Proclamation, issued by President Abraham Lincoln in 1863, declared that all slaves in the Confederate States shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. However, it was not until the ratification of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution in 1865 that slavery was officially abolished in the United States. Despite the end of slavery, the years that followed were marked by intense racism and discrimination against African Americans. The period of Reconstruction, which lasted from 1865 to 1877, saw attempts to rebuild the South and establish political and economic rights for African Americans. However, these efforts were often met with violence and resistance from white supremacists, including the Ku Klux Klan. In 1896, the Supreme Court handed down its decision in Plessy v. Ferguson, which upheld the doctrine of separate, but equal and legalized racial segregation. This decision was used to justify the widespread practice of discrimination and oppression against African Americans in the South for decades to come. Despite these challenges, many African Americans fought tirelessly for their rights and dignity. Figures such as Booker T., Washington, W.E.B. Du Bois, and Ida B. Wells worked to advance the cause of civil rights and combat the injustice of segregation and discrimination. In the early 20th century, the Great Migration saw millions of African Americans leave the South and move to northern and western cities in search of better economic opportunities and greater freedom. However, they often found themselves facing new forms of racism and discrimination in their new homes. In 1954, the Supreme Court handed down its landmark decision in Brown v. Board of Education, which declared that segregation in public schools was unconstitutional. This decision set the stage for the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s, which saw figures such as Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and Malcolm X fight for equal rights and justice for African Americans. The movement led to major legislative and social changes in the country, including the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. These laws helped to dismantle the legal barriers to equality and justice that had persisted for so long in the United States. Despite these gains, racism and discrimination continue to be major challenges in American society today. The struggle for racial justice and equality remains ongoing, as many African Americans continue to face systemic obstacles and challenges in their daily lives. Throughout its history, the story of slavery in America has been one of profound tragedy, as well as of inspiring resilience and resistance. From the brutal horrors of forced labor and the violence of segregation, to the inspiring struggle for civil rights and justice, the legacy of slavery continues to shape the country and its people in countless ways.